check, check, one, two. Hey, let me see if I can do this in one take. On an iPhone, like I told you, don't look for any Oscar award winning uh, content here, right? But let's cover some of this real quick. All right, so we got my original concept here. I was just, uh, you know, looking for a little more airflow through the air box. Um, what it boils down to is my intake air temps were, they were creeping up 120, 121 on a 90 something degree day, 125 at a stoplight, they would creep up 130. I was like, I need to do something to get some airflow through that area. So, you know, just dremeled out the edges here in the, in the housing, used a three inch hole saw, cut a hole, all factory mounting. And then Ricardo at the Sun Chaser calls me. He's like, hey, I'm working on this thing. I think you'd be interested. And I said, well, I, I really like the factory style headlights, but you know, let's check out what you got. And he sent me some drawings of this and you know, I offered to test it and do some data logging and whatnot. So in this configuration, the airflow is pretty minimal, but I could keep my intake air temps within 10, 15 degrees of ambient as long as I was driving and, and you know, traffic and whatnot. I drive the car on the street a lot. Moving along, after some revisions here, you can see reducing some thickness, required moving the light, um, some changes to the overall shape. Now, he made this choice here to add some aggressive angularity to the part. Um, we deleted this little eyebrow, made it just more, more subtle, you know, cleaned up the appearance. But I had always chatted with him about making it more OEM here, more of a curved fit and kind of smoothing out these radiuses and making it a little a little cleaner and a little more modern design. Now, brings us to this final version. I just got these out of the box. I've got one installed already. And as you can see, you get a little more airflow. He, he made this wall a bunch thinner here. This part in the quality of print is so much better than this. It's also 120 grams lighter, so that's a plus. So lighter, more airflow, and anyone that's driven an SN95 car knows the headlights are a joke. You go to Marshalls and you get two candles out of the clearance rack, and you may as well put them on the front of your car. That's about how good the factory lights work. Now I had Cobra style housings with a really good LED light and these Morimoto sealed threes outperform that light by a hundred times. And this has a clear yellow laminate protective film on it. So you can do these in just plain white. Um, mine have a film on them just to uh, give it that Euro touring car, you know, 24 hour Le Mans race car look. But I'm going to go over to the front of the car here with this one in the driver's side. Tell me what you guys think. Walk around here real quick. I don't have anything in the passenger side, but in the driver's side, let's put the hood down. He beefed up the, the shape, the lines, added some curve. I mean, this is really, really, really fantastic. I'm super stoked with these. Talk to your guy at Sun Chaser. I am telling you, these well, are the jam. It's the next day, the golden hour, right? Before the sunlight is too harsh. Uh, I finished putting in the other headlight. I wanna go over a couple of the details and get some better imagery for everybody. Um, check out what I got going on here. So, as you can see, follows the OEM lines. This is nice and radius. I couldn't really get a good picture of that um, without it being daylight. Come to the other side, same thing. Real clean, good fitment. There's some adjustment that I can make yet. I haven't aimed the headlights or anything. So I hope everyone can get 
a look at what they want here. I'm gonna pop the hood up. And just to go back over the airflow. So my air filter, I have the JLT, my IAT sensors right here. And just pushing air th through here driving keeps my intake air temps right at 10 over ambient generally, which is pretty good. Your results may vary a bit. Um, if you do different stuff with your heat shielding, you know, I wanted it to look a certain way. And the, uh, the heat that this gets, we found on the dyno is actually f more from the headers. So the heat coming up from the headers as the car sitting still on the dyno but with the Holly Terminator, I can see it on the dash. So I just put it on my dash, drive down the road. I can watch intake air temps. I can watch them rise at a red light. And I can watch them fall as soon as I start driving again. So I'm totally blown away by the changes he's made. I highly recommend you guys checking these out. It's something different. And I'm going to drop in... A little drive video at night to show you the performance difference well it won't be the difference it's just going to be these headlights i don't have a before and after but you can look at your own headlights and kind of compare wraps it up again don't be too rough on me i'm not a youtuber i don't do this full time uh there's some guys out there that i follow that are just crushing this game but i did want to share this i think it's super cool i'm excited i could be a part of it and you know we'll catch up in an event hopefully soon see y'all later